On today's adventure, we are heading to three locations near Winslow, Arizona. First, we check out Chevlon Creek Bridge to get some aerial photos, then head to an unusual location I found on Google Earth. Something so strange that I had to get a closer look. And finally, we head into a storm at the Little Painted Desert for some landscape photography as this adventure unfolds. Today we are out here in the middle of nowhere, just south of Winslow, Arizona, checking out the incredibly historic Chevlon Creek Bridge, and really just uh, stopping here on the way to the next location because really I wanted to get a drone up in the air for this incredible spot because the landscape here is just incredible. So. Let's get the drone launched and take some pictures and video of this incredible location because our next stop is even more curious and it's uh, kind of boggling my mind of what it could be. So. This location really comes alive from the air. Look at the amazing canyon and how the river winds through the landscape. Here I took two images, a horizontal composition and a vertical composition. Tell me which one you prefer in the comments and why. Chevlon Creek Bridge is so beautiful and the weather today could not be better with these clouds that are rolling in and out. I think there might even be some rain on the agenda, so we'll see how that goes. But we are back on the road heading to the east now for this spot that I found on Google Earth and it intrigued me so much that I had to check it out. There's these unusual shaped patterns in the ground and this uh, what seems like a moat or a, a man-made fence all the way around it and one of the shapes even looks like an animal so I, uh, I really want to put uh, you know eyes on the ground and see what this really looks like so a little further up we've got a, a turn off and then uh, probably a short hike to get to these so let's find them The road back in here hasn't been too bad. You could probably make it in a passenger car if you went slowly. What is this? We got a little fence here, but I think what we're doing is going just beyond this. So let's see what it says here. Wildlife habitat area. Interesting. I think what we have to do though is follow along this little side road and then we hike north a little ways so let's keep on trucking After launching the drone, I feel like I got a, a little bit better insight of what this location is, but all of the things I thought were true are, are seemingly untrue. The moat that I had described is actually a row of trees, but still definitely man-made. And then the shapes themselves are also tree-type clusters, but that one is so convincing to me that it is intentional because to me it looks like a horse. What do you guys think? Does it look like a horse or a goat? Some sort of local animal? I'm not sure, but uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. We're walking out there, so 
not too much longer, we could actually see what these look like in, you know, real human perspective. So this is one of the first structures here. It is lined with trees, but also has a mound as well. Oh, this is very muddy. Yeah, from the ground, it doesn't look like much of anything. Well, it seems like that place was much more interesting with the aerial perspective of the drone. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, make the slow trudge back to the Jeep and put the drone back up in the air and, and try to get a closer look at some of these structures because from the ground level, there really is no discernible pattern and the area is just soaked. So tons of mud and pooling water. But it was interesting to go and see what they're actually constructed of. Like I say, it's like a, a mound that's probably 10 feet wide, maybe five feet tall, and then trees all along the sides of them. So pretty dang interesting, but let's get the drone up in the air one more time. And then we'll head off to our next location, which is also lesser known, but with the recent rains, I think the area will really be popping. It's called the Little Painted Desert, and it's just north of Winslow, Arizona. So that's our next stop for some photography. As we're making our way towards the Little Painted Desert, a little bit of rain has started to fall and off in the distance to the east are a couple of massive downpours and it is just incredible. incredible weather just as we arrived here in the little painted desert and the various overlooks these incredible downpours are happening kind of to the north of this location and what's really incredible is the clouds today there's a lot of movement with the sun and and the shadows all rolling in and out of this scene so right now uh, it's just a matter of, I've got this amazing downpour off in the background for this image. And then um, I'm just waiting for some sun to peek through on some of these foreground hills to give it a little bit more texture. But uh, kind of arriving here has been a little bit uh, chaotic, a little bit run and gun, but that's almost my favorite type of photography adventure is just getting out here, trying to get the shot before the conditions change. So I'm gonna to continue to wait on this particular image, hoping that that storm doesn't pass too far over to the west before I can get that final image. But uh, I'm looking forward to exploring around here. Today has been very rewarding so far, but with the rain kind of rolling in and out, we're definitely gonna to have to wait for a little while to get the drone up in the air and really show you how beautiful this place is. adventure here around Winslow, checking out 
three incredible locations. I hope that those are now on your list of places to explore, as well as learning some photography tips along the way. If you are interested in another crazy adventure, check out this video here. Otherwise, you know the drill. I'll see you on the next adventure.